हेलो आई एम प्रतिभा जाधव असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस टुडे वी विल सी द टॉपिक फ्रॉम द नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी दैट इज ब्लॉक साइफर्स एंड द डेटा एनक्रिप्शन स्टैंडर्ड सो वील गो थ्रू द वॉट टाइप ऑफ साइफर टेक्निक्स वी कैन अप्लाय वेन एवर वी आर यूजिंग नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी the way which is going to be cipher for the plain text that is there are two different types that is the block cipher and stream cipher block cipher it is the process of the input one block of elements at a time and producing an output block for each input block means at a time there will be number of string together is going to be c4 then second one is the stream cipher which is going to process an element which is uh, one element at a time and basically only one letter at a time it will replace the basic scheme of block cipher uh, where block of plain text bits are going to be generated into block of cipher text now when you are going to use any cipher techniques so there will be limited number of blocks to cipher or to uh, encrypt the data the block size has several rules the first rule that is avoid very small block size say if block size is of m bits then possible plain text bits combination should be 2 rest to m it should not be less than 2 rest to m so avoid very small block size then do not have very large block size so whenever you are going to use this block ciphering techniques it should be in the 2 rest to m but it should have the uh, block size below 1024 bytes then multiple of 8 bits whenever you are creating any block size that should be of the multiples of 8 bit for example if there are 64 bits then there will be 8 blocks that is 8 into 8 64 8 blocks will be created uh, uh, for the 64 bits now block cipher process it has one more uh, important concept which is called as padding now what is mean by padding when we are creating a block or when we are we are going to create any number of blocks it should have the size for the multiple of 8 bits but sometimes if that block is not enough then we have to carry some bits from the s box so whatever bits we are carrying that is known as padding too much padding makes the system inefficient so you have to remember padding must be below 5 bits so this is the diagram of block cipher here is the plain text Uh, which is going to convert into the cipher text and for that plain text we are going to apply a, a one encryption algorithm with the secret key k now when we are considering data encryption standard it is following the structure of fistel block cipher now this fistel block cipher has several Uh, conventions and the rules which has to follow in the algorithm that is block size key size number of rounds sub key generation algorithm round function and encryption and decryption software that is the algorithm which is going to be used for the cipher technique now two more concepts we are going to use in the ds algorithm as well as uh, whenever you are going to use any block ciphering technique that is known as substitution and permutation now what is mean by substitution substitution means each plain text element is going to replace by other plain text element and what is mean by permutation here sequence will be changed that is the sequence of the plain text elements are replaced by permutation that is the index value will be changed for the characters 
Now two more concepts that is confusion and diffusion function. This crystal structure it is practically applica uh, applicable to the DS algorithm which is developed by Claude Shannon and he has given these two functions based on his proposal. So in the first uh, structure that is in diffusion statistical structure will be compressed and it will be replaced by many ciphertext digits and in confusion it it will be uh, if encryption will be in the large format then deduce the key that is compression will be there so this is achieved by the complex substitution algorithm now we'll go for the ds algorithm exactly what fistal structure will be applied to the ds algorithm ibm developed this lucifer cipher in later 60s and having two main concepts that is 64 bit of block and 120 bit of key now in the data encryption standard it is using the symmetric key Symmetric key means only one key will be used for the encryption as well as decryption. The, uh, the rules of the DS algorithm that is firstly it is using Fistel cipher. Then 16 rounds will be there in the Fistel structure. The block size will be of 64 bit. The key length will be of 64 bit and from that 64 bit only 56 bits of key is going to use since 8 of bits of the 64 bits will not be used for the cipher tech so we'll see the structure of the encryption for the ds algorithm basically substitution will be occurred for encryption as well as permutation now this is the diagram of the DS algorithm where actually fistal structure is used. Now when we are using this fistal structure, there will be two major steps we have to carry. That is firstly you have to consider block of the 64 bit and convert that block into two halves. That is left hand side and right hand side. Each block will be of 32 bit. Now when, uh, when block will be converted into 32 bit, then we have to use the round function. See in this diagram L and R, there will be two blocks called as L and R and round function which is known as F in bracket K comma R where K is the secret key and R is the round function. This round function will be generated randomly wherever round is going to be increased and between this round function L will be taken place. So L between L and round function there will be XOR operation performs and this will be shifted to the right hand side and right hand side bits will be shifted to the left hand side. Now same rounds will be occurred for the same DS algorithm. These, these rounds will be of 16 rounds and after that final permutation will occur and that will be the final cipher block. So this is the structure of DS algorithm. This DS algorithm it is the complex structure but it is not attackable cipher technique. So it is more secure than the any other symmetric algorithms. Thank you.